A surprising lineup for the Rolex Paris Masters semi finals saw two Americans with designs on a late dash for London take on a wild card and a qualifier, both in unfamiliar territory. Last year's beaten finalist John Isner took on qualifier Filip Krajinovic in semi final one. The Serb had already taken out one American in the shape of Sam Querrey and was attacking the Isner serve early in the opener. Oh! That's a fine shot. Kranovic got the breakthrough and was looking solid on serve. Oh, well played. Went for the slice backhand and so produced the winner. Krajinovic. Oh, how well. So Krajinovic. With Isner moving gingerly, Krajinovic took full advantage to go a set to the good. Yeah, he held his nerve to finish the job and take the opening set. After Isner was punished for one lapse of concentration in the first, the American remained dialed in on serve midway through the second. That one got up to a very awkward height. And so to a tie break, and Isner wasted little time getting stuck into the Krajinovic serve. Isner is dominating the early stages of the tie break. Soon after, the decider was confirmed. No, oh, he's thrilled. Uh, if he is going to reach the final here, he's going to have to do it the hard way and win each of his four matches going the distance. The qualifier seemed determined not to be bullied by Isner in the third. With both men serving well, this was heading in the direction of a tie-break. Beautifully engineered point. Kronovic came back from a mini breakdown in the breaker to set up a grandstand finish. Oh, what a return! What a fantastic return of serve! Unbelievable. In the second semi-final, Julian Beneteau looked to continue his dream week against O2 hopeful Jack Sock, and after a double exchange of breaks, the home hero was using his support to his advantage. Running up nicely, this isn't it. But deep into the set, the US number three was looking to silence the Accor Hotels Arena. Yeah, two break points for Jack Sock. With a timely break, Sock could now serve for one foot in the final. Good. There it is. Into the second, and Sock didn't take long to start asking questions of the Frenchman's serve. Yeah, that's good enough. Full credit to Jack Sock here. He's made a, that shot look easy, and that was not it at all. A break to the good, and the 16th seed was firmly in control. Oh, more forehand brilliance from Jack Sock. Sock even managed a second break, and this was proving a match too far for Beneteau. Too good. Jack Sock's in the final of the Rolex Paris Masters. On the verge of the biggest title of his career. Sympathetic applause and support for Julien Beneteau, who's had a stunning run this week, but in the end had nothing left in the tank to tackle Jack Sock. So the final lineup confirmed for the 2017 Rolex Paris Masters. A win for Jack Sock would see him snatch the last London berth. Victory for Filip Krajinovic would cap the greatest week of his tennis career.